the Royals tonight will commemorate Jackie Robinson Day on the 74 year anniversary of Robinson's Major League debut in which he broke baseball's color barrier. His number 42 was retired by Major League Baseball in 1997 but for the 13th straight year all players and on field personnel will wear number 42 today. Jacob Junis has not allowed a run in seven innings and he has struck out nine. Six RBIs for Marcus Simeon. Popped up into shallow center field. Merrifield is out from second base and there's one down. The batter now Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Into right field. So Junis gets two pop ups a fly out and a quick one two three top of the first we found out about oh, two hours before the game tabby that Anthony K would make the start tonight for the Blue Jays we had four hits four runs scored and two stolen bases in the Angels series that's off the end of the bat and past the diving Bichette. And the Royals have their leadoff man on. Andrew Benintendi. He does a good job of staying in. Watch him go to left field here. Witt runs, and he does go to left field, and that is going to be down, and it's going to scoot past Guriel. Benintendi is going to get an RBI. He was thinking about three, but hits the brakes. He'll settle for an RBI double, and the Royals lead 1 0. Two batters into the bottom of the first. The shoulder stays closed and a hitter has a better opportunity to use the whole field. Now that ball is, is middle and up, but because of his uh, ability in his form, his left hand swing, he's able to hit that gap and not a good route by Guriel Jr. in left. The 2-2 to Carlos Santana, weak ground ball to third, charged by Biggio and a bit wide of a throw, but Guerrero makes the play. Santana retired, and it's one to nothing Royals. And with two outs of the base is empty, Jays down one to nothing. It'll be Lourdes Guriel Jr. He lines one sharply into left center for a base hit. And this is Rowdy Telez. And a swing and a miss. He really fooled him that time with a good hard slider. You've got to be impressed with the velocity that we have seen so far from Kay. Consistently 94 95 with a fastball touching 96 at times and there's a 3 2 swing and a miss on a high fastball two down. Here's Hunter Dozier the right fielder for the Royals 2 2 and a good sharp curveball there from Kay gets Dozier swinging Marcus Semyon. Here's the 2 2 in there strike three call Jacob Junis Sterling through three two strikeouts only one base runner. We head to the bottom of inning number three. Now Nicky Lopez. And here's the pitch to Nicky. He hits it to left. Guriel going over. Dives. He can make the play. That's a fair ball. Alberto's going to score easily. Nicky around second, racing to third, and he will be safe there with a triple. And the Royals lead 2 0. Royals are really picking on Lourdes Guriel out in left field. It's 2 0 KC, and now you have Nicky Lopez at third with nobody out. Witt led off the first inning with a single. And and there's a ground ball to third, and it's kicked by Biggio, and the Royals lead 3-0. The Royals are hitting the ball hard. They can't control it after it leaves their barrel. That's a clank master. He didn't move his feet. He was waiting for it. The ball will play you if you don't play it. See that? He's just sitting there with, with his flat-footed. He knows better. That happens, though, in the game. Carlos Santana, a guy who will take a walk about as well as anybody in baseball. The 0-2, and a swing and a miss at a curveball. Kay will strike out Santana to end the inning. But the Royals scored two more and now lead three to nothing at the end of three. Now Kevin Biggio. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out on a good cutter. And that is four strikeouts for Jacob Junis. We hit at the bottom of the fourth inning. Blue Jays bring the infield in for Hunter Dozier. And a line drive is into deep left field and down into the corner. So Dozier not only gets the run in, he'll be at second base with one out. And the Royals have four runs in four innings. Outstanding job of being patient, working the 3 0 count, getting a good pitch to handle, and not missing it. Boy, looking good. And Anthony Kay will go three and a third. He'll depart. Dozier at second base. Answer Alberto reached with an infield single leading off the third inning. There's a line drive to left, and that's going to be down. And the Royals have their third double in the inning. Alberto drives in Dozier, and the Royals lead 5-0 in the fourth. Not fooling anybody with a breaking ball right at the bottom of the strike zone at 74. Alberto with a nice little leg kick. Ball, his hand gets down in time, or excuse me, his foot, and the hands come through the zone. 
nicely. Same area he hit his home run in, but he stayed, he kept it down in there and was able to get some action. Witt singled and scored the first run, and Witt lines it past Biggio. That was right at him. <laughs> and the Royals are going to get two more. So much for ball four. How about another double? Oh, what he was thinking about there, but you know, you, you don't usually two hand a ball to your right side like that, but he missed it. Salvi, he is grounded out to Biggio at third twice. 0 oh, 2, and he got him. So Perez strikes out, and finally the bottom of the fourth comes to a close. But, and the 2 2 on the way, and Guriel bounces one into right field for a base hit. So he is two for two. So now Rowdy Telez, the DH, as he lines the ball to right field. Solid contact for a base hit. Up to second on the play goes Guriel. Back to the top of the order, Marcus Simeon. 0 2 pitch. Waving him as he struck him out with the cutter. Make it six for Junis through five scoreless frames. Rowdy has flied out and doubled so far tonight. 1 1, line softly into right field, a base hit for Guerrero. And Bichette will make the turn and come to third. And now 81 pitches tonight. Jake Newberry is warmed up and ready to go. And Mike Matheny says that's enough. So here's Joe Panic, who came on at third base for Biggio. And he lines one into right center field. And this ball is going to get down, and it'll get all the way to the fence. Bichette will come in to score. Guerrero's around third. He'll score standing up. It'll be a two run double for Panic, and it's 7 to 2. Royals pitchers have been very stingy lately over their last seven games with runners in scoring position just a 150 average. That's a fastball out over the plate a 1 1 pitch and the short swing by panics going to send it up the alley in right center field for a couple of RBIs. The two men on with a one out for Rowdy Telez. The 3 2 line to right field and that's down for a base hit. Panic will come in to score. Guriel will stop at third, and it is seven to three. Palacios with a ground out and a fly ball to center tonight. Two one. Lifts it in the air to center field. Taylor having to go back on the ball sets up underneath it. Guriel can tag, and he will come in to score on the sacrifice fly that makes it seven to four. Jansen is lined to left and struck out. In the air, shallow center. Witt goes out. He's calling for it, and he's got it. So the Blue Jays get back into the game with four. Hunter Dozier, Anser Alberto, and Nicky Lopez. And lifts a fly ball to left field. Here comes Guriel diving, and he's got it. Lourdes Guriel Jr. with a terrific catch out in left field. It was hit off the end of the bat, so it wasn't hit that hard, but a good read by Guriel, and he's got the speed to run it down for the first down. And now man on for Bo Bichette. Back to Zimmer, former college infielder, out at second, and what a play at second base by Merrifield to continue the double play. Vladdy tonight has a couple of hits. He has singled and doubled in addition to a fly ball to right field. First pitch swinging, and he crushes it. Deep left center field. It's hit a mile. Guerrero with a home run, his third on the season, and the Blue Jays are within two. Boy, the beauty of that swing, Dan, on top of the home run. I'm, I'm looking at the big picture right here. He had a double to left field. He had a single to right field, and then waits on that breaking ball from Kyle Zimmer and hits it to center field. Comes down to two on, two out. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is the hitter. Got him! I don't know what you were so nervous about, Hud. We had him all the way. Ooh, man, I'll tell you what. He swung at that one like his daddy did, but, uh, uh, you know, his dad would have hit that, though. <laughs> so, 